Good evening and welcome to this to the city of Nashville that celebrates Hanukkah. Literally as the sun sets, we are going to light the first menorah here in the city tonight. It is so beautiful. This is the first time in 126 years that Hanukkah and Thanksgiving coincide. And we are honored to have with us tonight the mayor of Nashville for the seventh year. We'll be lighting the menorah here at the Riverfront Park. Many have asked, what does a menorah mean? The first menorah is actually, can't compete with the motorcycles, yes. <laughs> the first menorah ever lit was actually a seven branched candelabrum, which was a symbol of light. And the first menorah was made of pure gold, which was actually designed by God himself. That menorah accompanied the Jewish people in its history in a national trek through the desert for 40 years and then it was placed in the temple in the city of Jerusalem where it was kindled by the high priest. This menorah of the seven branches stood for, through two temples in the city of Jerusalem and later it became an eight-branched menorah after the story of Hanukkah. Jews for generations have been lighting this menorah as a symbol of religious freedom and in the last generation just 75 years ago during the Holocaust, the menorah was a light of survival for concentration camp inmates. It was not a menorah of gold or silver, but it was a menorah of hope. And in our generation here today, in Nashville, the menorah is a light of pride to the people of Nashville, and menorahs like this are being lit all over the world. Just a few short hours ago, I got a picture of a menorah lit, lit in Melbourne, Australia, where they were standing with tank tops and short sleeves. How we wish we could bring that to warm weather to here. But we know as the mayor is going to light this menorah, he's going to bring the blessing of warmth, the blessing of hope, and the blessing of goodwill to the citizens of Nashville. So it is my honor once again, for our seventh year, to introduce to you the great mayor of Nashville, Mr. Carl Dean. Well, thank you, Rabbi, and it's indeed an honor to be here for my seventh year uh, lighting the menorah. And it's great that uh, we're able to do this on a particularly historic night where this is the first time in 124 years, 126 years, that it has occurred uh, on the evening before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve. And that's, it's kind of fitting because this is, Thanksgiving is really a time about, about appreciating the many blessings we've had as a city as families, as a community. It's a chance for us to say thank you. It's a chance for us to reflect upon being a community. And I think of uh, lighting the menorah in, the, in that same way. This is a great community. And it's, and it's a great community because we're all in this together. We celebrate together, we give together, and we appreciate one another. And so during this season of light and of giving, um, it's my honor to be able to participate once again and, and, and do the, the lighting. Um, this may be the coldest day that we've done it so far, my seven, but, but uh, I think we're gonna do just fine with the wind. And again, it's a great honor and thank you for inviting me. Sure, thank you, okay. And let me, I wanna acknowledge the presence of two council members, Councilman Bedne and Council Lady uh, Wiener, and thank them for being here with us. I'll bring that down to you. Only you, only you can do that. Huh? That was a hard one. I don't know if I can catch you. Let's see if I can uh, help you this way. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, start singing. Okay. He's got to hold it there a little bit. I've been instructed by the rabbi to start singing. This is a little Hanukkah song that most of the kids know anyway, of all That's ages, kids of all ages. And then we're going to the beach. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna use the mic because uh, the guitar thing is not working, so I'm just gonna come on out and sing out here.
I'd like to present the mayor with the, uh, there's something very unique about Nashville that's actually kosher. And that is in Nashville, there's a company here, a national company called Christie Cookie, that actually that I oversee to make sure that all their cookies are kosher. Okay. Yes, they're right here on 3rd Avenue. And they prepared this afternoon a special box of, uh, yeah, people are used to Hanukkah being the donuts, but this was specially commissioned for the mayor, a happy Hanukkah tin of Hanukkah cookies that the mayor will enjoy with his family on his Thanksgiving dinner. So please enjoy this with your family. I'd also like to present the mayor this year. The mayor has a whole collection of menorahs, and he's a man that took the city to, a, to the next step. I would say it's, there's a wonderful book called Out of the Depths. The mayor really, we can say that over the years, you have, since you've become mayor, the city of Nashville has become the it city and the city of life. So this is a wonderful book written by the former chief rabbi of Israel, who was a concentration member of the, the Holocaust, went through the Holocaust, and he wrote a book of how he overcame all challenges, and he was able to eventually to inspire many millions of Jewish people in the land of Israel as he became the chief rabbi. So I present to you this one is a wonderful memoir out of the depths and they inspire you to continue leading our city to where you have done. And may God bless you in the season of Thanksgiving that you have lots of blessings of happiness, joy and prosperity in your family and may it be an eight days of Thanksgiving to the people of Nashville. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I want to thank everyone for coming out. And we encourage you all over the next few days to add in deeds of goodness and kindness to make this a city of light. And may you all have a wonderful holiday season. And uh, if you'd like to uh, say hello, wish to your greetings to the mayor. He'd be glad to have all the blessings you can give him. Happy holidays to everybody. Thank you. Keep going. <laughs>